Welcome everybody to the largest home in Western Florida. I am so excited to show you. I love when we do these kinds of videos, like the largest home. We toured the largest home in actually all of Miami-Dade a few, year, maybe a year ago. But now this is fun that we're gonna do the largest home in Weston. This house is stunning. It's one of the most unique houses, honestly, that we have ever toured on this channel. It features an indoor pool. It features its own art gallery, a cinema. It has, it has a club room with a four car garage. That's the perfect man or woman cave. And get this, it has a 50,000 square foot lot with 180 degrees of lake views in the best neighborhood in Weston, well, best gated community rather, Windmill Ranch Estates. So without further ado, this house is $10.9 million in Weston, Florida, and I'm excited to show you. So first we have to talk about the grounds. The exterior grounds are immaculate. The landscaping is some of the most exotic landscaping you have ever seen. I'm gonna show you some of the trees and name a few of them for you. But first, I love the exterior of the home. The facade is very nice. It has a unique vibe to it with the stone wrapped in the columns and on the facade. And then you notice you have the really nice porta cocher here so you can park a car. It's a circular driveway. The driveway is massive and it takes you all the way around here to the six car garage and where the tahina palm tree is, which is that palm tree right there. And it's a very, very, very rare tree. And on this property, I believe they told me there are actually 14 of tahina palm trees. And those are very exotic trees to find. But all around the landscaping just feels like we're in a completely different space from the moment you pull in your car or walk into the space. And what's outside really reflects what's inside because the materials and the details that you'll see on the interior of the home are something that are, you can't even recreate. Gold plated staircase and, and entry. We're talking about it and we're not showing you. So let's stop talking and let's start showing and I'll meet you inside. Welcome everybody, great to see you. This one's an exciting tour because we're getting inside of the house which has so many unique and amazing features like we mentioned in the beginning of the video. But let's get into it. Right when you walk in, you have your foyer here with fresco ceilings, a beautiful chandelier. And it, honestly, it's an entrance that gives you a sense of oomph right when you walk in. You feel like you're walking into something presidential from the second that you step foot into this home. You'll notice the details on the moldings of, of the door as well, but also when you're walking in, you're seeing this right here, the entryway, gold plated, and you'll notice the gold plated detail throughout the entire home, like the staircase that runs all the way up to the upstairs. But you literally see these details from the moment you walk in. Everything in this room is spectacular, and that's what a foyer should be like. You should walk in and feel presidential because this is a presidential home being the biggest home in Weston of course now you enter from the entryway the gold plated entryway you enter into this living space with high ceilings and you'll notice the gold plated railings from here as well but this space has a ton of volume it's your formal living room which is stepped down here with marble floors and you notice that these floors are actually intricate wood floors from France which are beautiful as well and they go well with the millwork the custom millwork that you'll see all along the house in places like this and below the railings those are details that you won't find in any other home and to replicate something like this in today's world, the cost would be unbelievable. So this living space is grand and you look out to that indoor pool, which I'm excited to show you because that's one of the unique things of this house. But first, we're actually doing things a little bit different today. We're gonna show you the primary suite first. This is the primary suite, double door entry leading you into the room. You have this really nice long hallway leading you straight back to the bedroom where you notice beautiful wood floors here and then they outline the space of the primary suite, putting a nice chevron pattern for these wood floors. You have the high ceilings, big, big room, two nightstands and the huge bed. Then you have this picture perfect window looking out to your back patio there and you also have the lake view and you'll notice throughout the home you have 180 degrees of that lake view which is really unique actually especially on a 50,000 square foot lot in Weston. Now this door here goes straight out to that indoor pool so you can enjoy the, the outdoors indoors <laughs> and then we come down over here and we have the rest of the primary suite. You have two huge walk-in closets 
We can't show you both of them, but just take my word that they are big. And this is your bathroom here. Spa-like bathroom. I love the tiling they chose. I love the marble on the backsplash here. And then you have that really nice design there too. You have the tub with the gold fixtures and then the two vanities, of course. And behind, you have a huge shower so you can have parties in the shower. Who doesn't like to have parties in the shower? George, do you like parties in the shower? Yes. Whoa, you like to party in the shower? <laughs> now, come over here. Now, that's the primary suite. Now, there's just so much to unravel in this house that I said, you know what? We'll show you the best things for last because there's a lot of great things in this house and so many unique things. The primary suite's incredible, but what you're about to see is even better. Now, again, this living space here, you'll notice as well, this is a piece of art on the wall here, handcrafted. It's brought in from Asia. It's unbelievable. Come over here. You have your area right below the staircase for you to have John Legend playing the piano. You guys know how I feel about that. I love John Legend. John Legend is a legend. And then here you have a transitional space between the living space and what we are going to see in the family room. And in this transitional space too, you'll notice you do have a bar over here, which is right off of the dining room and off of the family room, but we'll get there in a second. We come down this way, you have the more intimate family room here. This would be great for the kids. You have a big window, so you can kind of see what the kids are doing, you know, make sure they're behaving or make sure they're doing their homework right here in this family room. And it has an, it's a lot of natural light in this room, which is nice, and high ceilings here as well. And it's facing the front of the home. This is a really cool room, but not the actual family room. Now we come down this way, you have those spaces. These hallways take you to the family room. I'm gonna take you there shortly. Let's go down this way. You have double doors here that take you into a bedroom. It's an ensuite bedroom with its own bathroom, really good size. And then over here, you have your powder bathroom with marble throughout the entire bathroom. And then this is like the staff area where you have the laundry room. You have a two car garage at that end, but this is what I wanna show you. Look at this. So right here you have the club room. This is what we're calling the club room. You can put a really nice big billiard table here. You could have a poker table here. You could get really cool and creative with this room. And this is a space where you're hanging out with the boys or the girls and overlooking your collection of cars, your antique cars, because this is a four car garage here. Look at the window. The window is giving you, it's like, you wanna show off that new 911 you just bought, right, it's right here, park it right here, play some poker. You know what? Pay for pink slips. How about that? Poker table here, pay for pink slips. If I win, uh, that might be for racing, pink slips. Am I, was that? I think you can bet pink slips. You can bet pink slips, right? How would, how would you know that? Huh, <laughs> George is like, yeah. Yeah, he's like, you know, yeah. I've, he's like, I've, I've won a car or two in my lifetime. <laughs> so we come here, you have the four car garage. They have beautiful cars here, by the way, I love it. But they have it as two cars parked and then more of like a hangout area. You have the TV, you have a sauna, you have gym equipment. This is a really, really cool space. And get this, you can do two cars there, two cars here, and you have height where if you wanted to put a lift, you could potentially do that as well. And you have more space over here for maybe even some motorcycles. If you're a car enthusiast, this is perfect. Or leave it as it is and make it the man-woman cave. How about them apples? So this space is really cool. Let's walk down over here and continue showing you the rest of the house. So now we walk to the red room over here. This is a nice, intimate room right off of your family room. So this is a big space so you can entertain, you can have people over. And again, it's right off of that where we saw, which was the living room down over there. And you also have the bar right over here. If you notice that's the bar right there, right? And you also have that transitional space all right here. And what's really neat about this particular space in the red room is that you're overlooking that formal dining. And you'll notice as well, you're actually looking even past that to the lake view and the view of the indoor pool. Now, I wanna notice the details here as well, where you have the really nice gold-plated details here, right? And they're on the other side as well, you'll notice. And the wood, the millwork in this house is unbelievable. Now, the family room, you have the vaulted ceilings, really nice stone accent wall and going really high. And then you'll notice up there, you'll have a view from the corridor and the bedroom overlooking here. We'll see from that angle shortly. Now over here is that formal dining. We'll get to there in a second. And that's the kitchen, but come this way and we have the 
oval office inspired office. It's a really nice wide hallway with tons of light leading straight to this office. You have the double doors and the step down marble floors throughout. This was inspired by the oval office here. It's unbelievable. You have marble on the ceilings as well. You sit down and you sit right here and you enjoy the views of the lake while doing work. Work doesn't feel like work in the oval office. Yes. Look at this. This is marble columns all around. One, two, three, four here, two. It's like eight columns. Beautiful. And of course, this office does have its own bathroom here as well. So you don't have to go to the guest bathrooms. But this office is really, really, truly exceptional. You have art all around, which is beautiful. That book is older than me, you, and everybody else watching combined. And then you have this secondary staircase that takes you up to where the cinema and the bedrooms are, but we'll get there in a second. Let's first show you the kitchen and dining room. So the kitchen is big, it's beautiful, and you have these two pocket doors that allow you to separate the space if you wanted to. You have pantry space upon entry as well. This is one refrigerator, but you have the main ones over there, and you have beautiful granite countertops here, and a nice big kitchen. This is a great size, double oven. Cook the veggie and non-veggie burger there. You have a, a station here for you can have coffee in the morning if you wanted to. And the greatest thing here is you have a huge breakfast nook over here. You have a nice place to sit down and enjoy these views because honestly, the views from right here are unbelievable. Very, very nice views of the lake. Again, 180 degrees and these windows are huge. Huge, and I, I love the ceiling design here as well. You notice the wood on the ceiling, and then you have the nice exposed beams, but they wrapped them in wood. It's really neat. And this goes out to the pool right here, the indoor pool. But again, hold your horses. Let's continue down this way. I wanna give you a better sense of the flow of this house. So we'll walk down over here, okay? And you have your formal dining room. So just to give you perspective as well, the office is over here. That's where we just were, okay? You have a guest bathroom right here. So this is a full bathroom, all right? And this right here is your formal dining room. The formal dining room, I do wanna note that this entire section of the house has gold-plated crown moldings on the top. And you also have the gold-plated millwork right here on the side, separating this space from the red room. And notice that the dining chairs have the gold-plated design that matches these designs on the walls around. Now this space is nice because you have really big picture perfect windows looking out to that indoor pool. And even past that you see the lake view. So that means you got views for days. And then you have the china here as well. Every, everything just matches the designs. And then now we come down this where you have that bar that we mentioned. That bar is right off of the dining and it's also off of the red room and the family room. And then you have this transitionary space again. We're back to the main space where we first started beautiful space. You're getting a different angle. You'll notice the ceiling design is completely painted, right? Really, really nice. The details, the details in this house are some that you don't ever see in any house. Now we go up the stairs. You have beautiful wood steps and we take you up to go see the four bedrooms, the movie theater, and that art gallery. Now you come upstairs and you have this receiving area, which is actually the library. You have a beautiful staircase here and tons of space to put the best books ever. So that way you can get smarter here. Now upstairs we have four bedrooms and that art gallery and the movie theater. We'll start with the first bedroom right here, double doors, marble floors here, really cute, cozy room, has its own bathroom here as well, which connects to another transitionary space. But let's come down over here this way. I wanna give you the more formal look. And you know what, since we're over here, we might as well show you the art gallery. You'll notice that you have the really nice gold plated railings overlooking the living room and the entrance walking to this art gallery where you have the wood floors and a huge space. So you could literally have art basil in your own house. Imagine that, right? You could have a space right here. You, if you wanted maybe like another social area, you could make this a social area to maybe showcase some art and art enthusiasts would love this. And from this room, you're overlooking the views of the lake and the treetops as well. But look how big this room is. Notice the ceiling design has that dome effect and they have that really nice painted ceiling. 
Art everywhere, art everywhere. Look at this, this is huge. And then we have another area while you're in the art gallery and you're looking and you're tired because you walked the whole gallery and the gallery's pretty big, you can sit down. I got tired of walking for 15 minutes, so that was my little break. Now we come down over here and we end, and that's the end of the Art Basel tour. So Art Basel in your own house, that's unbelievable. We come over here, let's keep walking down this hallway and continue the tour. You have this other transitionary space, with which again, you can make this maybe like an area for the kids to do their homework. You can make it another display area for art as they have it. You can get really creative with this space. We come down this way even further. You have bedroom number two up here. This is the second bedroom. It's an ensuite bedroom, good size, marble floors, marble baseboards, large walk-in closet. This is the second one. We walk down even further. You have the view overlooking that family room. And then we come down this way and you have two bedrooms. This is bedroom number three up here, which is the smaller of all the bedrooms. And you have its own bathroom and walk-in closet. And the same thing over here, you have the bedroom. It's a large bedroom, has two closets, and it also has big windows bringing in tons of natural light and high ceilings. So that's four bedrooms that we have seen up here, but we're saving the best for last. We save everything. Everything that's amazing, we save for the end. Whew. Wow, this is, it is the biggest house in Weston. You have this no, another landing space here, but this is from the staircase that comes from right, up, right outside of the office. And it takes you straight here, which when you walk up, you see the views of the water. And you enter these double doors. You have a bathroom on the left. You have the cigar room right over here. So you can enjoy a cigar, maybe a more intimate session with a colleague or a friend or something. Overlook those views of the lake. Cigar room. And then the bar. Uh, not the bar, I'm sorry. It's a lot of house. And then the movie theater. The movie theater here, you have the nice projected screen here. Nine seats, extra space. The, it's, the sound is booming in here. This is where the movie night is happening every single night. If I had a, this movie theater, I would honestly be watching movies on a regular, on a regular. You know what? Actually, no, I wouldn't watch movies. I would watch our property tours. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now let's take you guys down and show you the indoor pool and the grounds of this magnificent estate. And this is the indoor pool. This is my favorite part of this house. It's unbelievable. You can literally be swimming day or night or whenever, storm, whenever you want. You could be swimming in this pool. A few things to know, it's a huge pool, completely covered, screened in all around. You have skylights above bringing in light into the space. And if you notice the ceiling design, if you notice where it kind of lowers, it has a drop down ceiling, is the same cutout as the actual pool. Very, very well thought out. And you notice you have the lighting in there as well. And there's lights all in this space. You have space around to entertain and lounge. You have the water feature. And then over here, you have a pergola. Pergola right over here. Look at this, with beautiful ceiling design and lights. And it's a space so you can really actually Enjoy and eat something out here and overlook these views. Look at these views. The views are unbelievable of this lake. 180 degrees of a lake view on a 50,000 square foot lot is unreal. And all the grounds around us, like walking paths, you have beautiful tree canopies, the palm trees. I mean, all the exotic landscaping. The landscaping is actually out of this world. And then you have another outdoor area over here, but I do want to point out in addition, in this space, from that angle that you're seeing, you see you have another, another area over there to lounge and entertain. You have the swingy chairs, right? These swinging chairs are awesome. So this space is right off of the living room, and this door right here is right off of the primary suite. But this is unbelievable. An indoor pool, a massive 11,000, just over 11,000 square foot house, the biggest house in Weston, Florida. You just saw it. You just saw it, and thank you so, so much for watching the tour. Thank you to Denise, the listing agent, for allowing us to tour this one-of-a-kind property. It's a 50,000 square foot lot, over 11,000 square feet, six bedrooms, movie theater, 
art gallery. The list goes on and on. I'm curious to know what you guys thought of this tour. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and comment what you thought, and we'll see you guys in the next tour. Peace and love. Thank you so much for watching the tour. If you like what you see and you want to see more property tours, make sure you go watch this video right here or, or, or you can watch this one right here. And, and you know what, while you're at it, why don't you subscribe so that way you see every single tour that we put out every week. And if you're looking to buy or sell a place in Miami, you know who to reach out to. Shoot me an email. We'll see you next week. Peace and love.